because A, it's almost the weekend, and B, it's a new video up today. I will be sharing with you guys my tips and tricks on how to get the Korean skincare trend, glass skin. Have you guys heard about it? It's all over Instagram, all over YouTube. I might be even a little bit late on this trend because I think it's been out for a while, but I thought it would be still really interesting to show you guys my take on how I perceive this glass skin trend. It's actually very, very easy. I know you guys love the skincare stuff, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get gorgeous, beautiful, dewy, glowing glass skin. Are you ready? To start, you guessed it, cleanser. To help with the dewy and moisturized look of glass skin, I'm going with the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. It's super soothing and emulsifies makeup very easily. I warm up about one teaspoon of the balm in my hands and gently move in circular motions to take any leftover residue and dirt and makeup off. Oh yeah, and that little guy on my chin? He decided to come for a visit a few days ago and I'm ready for him to go now. All right, let's just pretend he's not there. <laughs> On to the second step of cleansing, I'm going to remove the residue from the balm with my Ula Henderson Truth on the Glow Cleansing Cloths. These smell like refreshing citrus and enhanced with vitamin C, so it's perfect to get rid of any leftover makeup. When it comes to glass skin, toner is a must, and there's nothing easier than using the Pixi Glow Tonic to go pads. They're alcohol free and have 5% glycolic acid, which helps brighten and hydrate the skin. I also love that they're travel friendly, in a jar, pre soaked, and ready to go. Next up, eye cream. I've been using the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream and it has been amazing for this glass look, especially when placed on the forehead, orbital bone, and cheekbones. So the main goal of glass skin is to have dewy, natural skin, and with the help of the Sekisai Herbal Gel, it makes it super easy. It's perfect for smooth, snow-like skin. Just a pea-sized amount all over the face and make sure you let it absorb before putting anything else on. Okay guys, this is my big trick when it comes to glass skin, using a filler. Here I'm using the Estee Lauder Perfectionist Pro Anti-Wrinkle Filler to help fill in any forehead and laugh lines. A little goes a long way and the consistency is thick so it really helps fill in those areas making your skin look super smooth. Now for the glow. I've been obsessed with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. I love how I can just use this on areas I want illuminated and voila! My skin instantly looks healthier and dewy looking. I just can't get enough of this one. I directly put the product on the skin and then using my damp beauty blender, I'm going to work it into the skin so that it looks natural. And last but not least, to finish off this look, I'm going to apply a new favorite for the lips, the Pixi Berry Tint and Sweet Gloss. It's perfect for a natural look, and now I'm done. So this was my take on the glass skin Korean trend. My question to you guys is, is this something that you would actually do yourself? Do you want that porcelain doll-like glass skin look? And if you do, make sure you comment below and let me know because I'd really like to see how many people actually have tried this or know about it or want to do it. And for those of you who are newer to my channel, I put new videos every single week so make sure you hit the subscribe button the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and also guys I do have a huge giveaway happening in my last video and it will be somewhere over here so make sure you go and check it out and click on it and enter if you haven't already okay I love you guys thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you all very soon in my next one bye